The Torah warns us when you get to Eretz Yisrael, you should not learn from the bad or, or negative influences around you. All sorts of examples are mentioned, but in Parsha Shoftim, you have a nice list which of one particular theme. Don't pass your son through door through fire. Don't be involved in the Kosein Ksamim Me'onein, Menachesh, Mechashev. Don't be involved in black magic. Don't be involved in witchcraft. This is the type of behavior Torah forbids. And the question is why? What's wrong with it? So the Rambam writes very simply, it's false, it's not true. The Torah is guiding you, navigating you away from Shek or away from falsehood towards MS, towards truth. But the Ramban, a remarkable comment, disagrees. He says, yeah, we've all seen this stuff work. We know there's such a power uh, outside of the Torah's <coughs> laws that black magic does work. There is truth to it, but that's not the path of the Torah. The Torah is not telling you to avoid it because it's false, because it's not the Rabboni Shalom's desired way to draw close to him. And seemingly two remarkable conclusions are drawn about the goal of this mitzvah and could be used as a paradigm for mitzvahs in general. Many of the mitzvahs are designed to navigate us towards truth in Emerson, and uncovering philosophical, monotheistic path of God, and some things are the ideological, religious path of God. The Torah is designed to help us understand both the truth and what the Rabbanu Shalom wants out of us. Shabbat.